about that exciting bump in data going away with stronger statistics and more collisions? I don't want to talk about it. Okay, well in that case, I heard I mean, that the- what's the point? We do all of this searching, we'll never find an explanation for gravity. 95% of the universe is made of things that we can't see and can't understand. And the 5% that we can see, we have no idea how it's created. Might as well give up and become Pilates instructors. And I'm not really flexible, so I don't know how that'll work. You know, if that bump had turned out to be a new particle, it would have really been something. But you know what? It's not. And we know that now, and it's going to be okay. But we failed. How is failing okay? We don't get to choose the fundamental properties of nature. I mean, we're just humble explorers in the universe looking for new things. But what if we don't find anything at all? You know what? That's also okay. Because we're still out there looking for new models, ruling out parameters, trying to make sense of the universe. And you want to know what I think? Is that a rhetorical question? I think that we are still at the very beginning of time for the human race. It's not unreasonable that we grapple with problems. Our responsibility is to do what we can, learn what we can, improve the solutions, and pass them on, and... Uh, I think I can live with uncertainty and doubt and not knowing because it's much more interesting to live in a world where you don't have all the answers than to have the answers that might be wrong. So what you think or is that what Richard Feynman thinks? Because I'm pretty sure you just plagiarized that line. Anyway, are you ready to give it another go? Are you asking me to spend years of my life on a project that might not ultimately revolutionize our understanding of the universe? Well, can you think of a better way to spend that time? I guess not. Okay, well, let's go get some lunch first. Lunch? Oh, I'm so hungry.